This video is going to be about some of the products that I've purchased over the last year of owning my camper. I've been asked by a lot of people where I've got a lot of the things that we've put into our camper. So uh, I do finally got some links set up with uh, Amazon where I get a small commission off of a few of the sales. I'm not recommending all these products like say this these these will work for they've worked for us so far and I've, I've liked most of them uh don't have any of my dislikes so I'll, i won't show you anything that i dislike um but i'm just going to go step by step through the, a few of the things that i've purchased through the years and if you want to use those links in the in the description of this video it'll help me out a little bit with my channel and i appreciate that thank you one thing that we had to add is we had to add a water jug and that's the reason why a water jug comes in handy is if you're at a campsite and you, you don't have a way of getting a water hose um, over to your camper if you want to go over and pick up get up some get some water and fill it up or if we've got levelers I've got a drill in here with the right size chuck in here to put the the uh, stabilizers on I've got the chalks we have a flashlight that if you need to go out at night we have a dog that we have to take out at night so we have a flashlight by that door this is the Murphy bed when it's folded down we did change out our mattress and I'm not gonna get into that a whole much we just we just first thing we did was change that into a a, uh, a memory foam type mattress we just weren't gonna even try to deal with the mattress that came with this so we changed that out this is this is normally a two plug. We added a, a surge protected six plug and it also has three USBs because if you have two of you with phones, you have USBs on this side, but you don't have any on this side. Now this will only run on the 110 power. I believe these over here will actually run off the 12 volt, but I'm not sure about that yet. We bought some special lamps that go on the, these are battery powered. They go on the side here. We're going to use those on our nightstand because they're short. Well, figures they won't work for us the first time up, but there you go. And those change three different shades, and they'll also go to different colors. And uh, one of the uh, members in the Facebook group got these wedges. Now, we really like the way they are set up. It's just a plain wedge set up here. Kind of pricey. But they're memory foam and the nice thing about those is they work behind the couch here to fill that groove in when your bed's down they'll work on the end just letting you know that you can get these honey well you want to get the ones heat only nothing else you can get the ones that are long like i got or if your space doesn't allow you can get the ones that are kind of wide this way the kit comes with a, a drill bit and a, quite a few other things that help you get this installed into your RV. Uh, here at Mammoth Cave, at AT&T, you barely get a bar. I mean, you get, I, if there's such a thing as a half a bar, that's pretty much what you get. You get a very, very weak signal. So what we did is we did hook it up, ran it, and what we did, it gave us a bar. Maybe a, sometimes there once in a while, two bars. But the nice thing about it is we've got phone service. And we got a little bit of data, enough to push a couple pictures up and glance at Facebook a little bit, but it did take a while to generate, but it did make it very useful. So if you think that you're going to have a lot of security issues and different things to secure, it's better to buy one of these multiple packs of uh, locks. Uh, you can buy these and they're all keyed alike. That helps out. That way you don't have to have one key you have to deal with. And then like I say, this is a ball type. Again, these <clears throat> these that nothing's foolproof. You can take a crowbar or sledgehammer and probably break this thing off. Like I said, that the one that comes with it wasn't too terribly bad. It just this one does a lot better spray pattern. I've heard good things about it, and we just decided to go ahead and swap it out. And uh, looks like it's going to work out well. What's nice about it is it puts the light down here on the table. And it's kind of nice just to have that on all the time when you're in the camper. Just a nice light. It works. I think it's LED and it's uh, uses about three watts. So it's not a whole lot.
So I hope that helped you out in uh, picking out some of the stuff and products that you need for your camper. And uh, really looking forward to getting back out. It's uh, late January now and I um, can't wait till at least we get to March where we can get out and do some camping. So that's all I have for this video. And if you have any other questions, put it in the comments and we'll talk to you again later.